<laughs> All right, welcome back on into Fox 43 AM Live, where I'm joined by Miss Grace and Miss Megan here with Health Access Care. So please, y'all, tell me what is what is music just what the doctor ordered? <laughs> Please tell me all about uh, this, this production you guys are putting on. This is a concert that has been done for about 20 years as a fundraiser for uh, uh, health care for the underserved. And it's just, I've sung it every year. It's a real joy. It's fun. People are <laughs> extremely generous. And so it's it's really a great community thing that we do. Of course. And so you you actually participate, right? Oh, yes. yes. Okay. And so tell me tell me a little bit about what you do. and, and uh, um, and you know kind of what, what you go through then to put on this uh, this wonderful production here well Megan can talk about what the background work <laughs> from my standpoint I have been a performer in this for uh, probably 20 years I think we're 20 or 21 years and I've done it every year um, we each prepare some music it's all uh, health care providers who are doing this and we have a community of very very generous people who help to s provide this support for people in need Wonderful. So, Megan, I'm going to switch to you now, too. Tell me the background. I mean, 20 years you guys have been doing this that you're speaking of. You know, how did this come to be? Why is this so important? I'm just going to start with those because I have many other questions as well. So at Health Access, what we, what we do is we coordinate donated health care for low-income, uninsured residents of Shawnee County. And so 20 years ago, how this concert started is we have some very, very talented physicians who <laughs> donate their time and care to patients in the Health Access program. And this is just really a celebration of their response to the, the people in need of Shawnee County. Um, and we have some great performers that come. It is a really exciting event. Um, and, and just having the physicians who donate care come back and put on this concert at, and to help us raise funds is really special. So not only do they help patients and they're doing that as well, but they are, they're putting their own vocal cords out <laughs> on the line too. How yeah. wonderful. So, you know, why is, if you wouldn't mind speaking to, why is this so important for you guys to, you know, get, you know, get that money in from donors? How big is this for you guys in, in supporting your, your mission? Yeah, this is huge. We, um, we, the, the people in Shawnee County that we help are low income. They're all uninsured. They don't have access to Medicare, Medicaid, or any other health care services. And so you have someone that comes into the emergency room and needs a surgery. What we do is we qualify for them for the program, and then we find a physician who's going to donate that care to them. Um, both hospitals also are big supporters of the health access program, and will donate that hospital stay as well. That's wonderful. I, I didn't, you know, realize that this was even a, a thing in our community. How wonderful to have that and have doctors like yourself that are willing to, one, help those patients, but also sing as well. So when can people come out? When is this event? When can we all participate? So it is Sunday, this Sunday at 3 o'clock at the First United Methodist Church. Um, we have a variety of performers. We'll probably be about an hour, so it's not a terribly long event, um, but it is very fun, and I'm very look, very much looking forward to it. And, and you said uh, tickets tickets are sold there? Um, it's the actually, it is a free will donation, so we are supported by the event by some wonderful sponsors, um, and then at the event it's also a free will donation. That is great, too. So really anyone is welcome to come mm -hmm. out and, and uh, get to hear you guys sing. I don't want to make you nervous now, Miss Grace. Over here. Oh, I'm not nervous. <laughs> and um, <coughs> would you guys mind speaking a little bit about the other performers, too, if you wouldn't mind? Mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Teeter, actually, he's not going to be singing. He plays the trumpet, and he'll be doing some, some pieces. Oh. Yeah, he is, um, I really enjoy listening to him perform. <laughs> yeah. um, and then Dr. Franz is just recently retired. She'll be doing some songs as well. Um, and Dr. Crouch um, will be doing some, is it the Dulcimer? Dulcimer. Dulcimer, yeah. Dulcimer. Mm -hmm. yes. It's a, a, he wow. does some really, really neat pieces there. And then um, Dr. Crouch and Dr. Morrison will do our grand finale and close out the show Great. as a duet. I was, can you give me any hints as to what you're going to perform? Sure. Or you <laughs> I, I'm going to perform four songs plus a duet with Dr. Crouch. Okay. Uh, the first one is called I've Got the World on a String, which is very bouncy and fun. And then the second one is called My Man, which is pretty jazzy. Uh, the third Third is the the standard um, over the rainbow. It's really a lovely arrangement. And then the last one is really fun. It's uh, I will be playing the part of an opera singer who is over the top diva, but she shares a little her little secret with the audience, which is that she is tone deaf. Oh my goodness! And the, the, the accompanist <laughs> that's finds a, that is her. A little secret. That's a secret. That's a that's a big it's secret. Very, I would say. It's very very fun. <laughs> it does. It sounds like it. So it's this Sunday, of course, three o'clock, right? You said. Yep. 
you don't have to bring any money or anything like it's free will donation mm -hmm. like you mentioned come out there and see wonderful performers like Dr. Grace here. I, uh, you got me a little enticed here with the world on a string, yes. as, I mean, over the rainbow. Yeah, it's great, it, it, fun songs. It really is gonna be great. Well, thank you so much, ladies, for uh, coming out here and giving us your time to speak about this. It's a very great event, it sounds. Thank you. Thank you.